In this video, we're going to take a look at a contour rule, which is another base feature for Autodesk Inventor's sheet metal environment. So I'm going to start another new sheet metal template here. I'm going to start another new sketch to create this base feature. Choose a plane to begin on. Now the contour roll has nuances similar to that of a revolved. You do have to have a center axis for it to roll around, and you can also adjust that through different settings of the command. So I'm going to begin by projecting one of my origin planes on the YZ axis. And I'm going to make that a center line format toggle there, just like I do with construction. And away from there now, I'm going to start creating a little bit of a shape here. Now I don't need to worry too much about adding in bends to this. So I'm basically going to create this kind of shape here for it. And I'll just throw a few dimensions on here real fast. I'm going to line up this midpoint here. There we go. Fully constrained. Just missing the dimension on this piece down here. So I'll go ahead and finish my sketch there. Again, this is an open profile very similar to the contour flange. So when I go ahead and start this contour roll, which is up here on our create panel, we still have to pick our profile. I only have the one, so it pre-selected that. I do have to select my axis there. So let me go ahead and make sure that's selected. And then I specify my roll angle and which direction I would like it to go. I have different unrolling methods, so I can choose a centroid cylinder, a custom cylinder, a developed length, a neutral radius, so I can define different methods here for this. And I think actually I'm missing my profile there. So I have to adjust a few values here before this will work. My bend radiuses are actually a little bit too big. So I'm going to change my method here to a 14 gauge stainless bring up my contour roll again. And now I can see the preview. Chances are if you don't see a preview, it's because you have something wrong in your settings. Maybe your bend radiuses are too large. Perhaps you don't have enough metal for it to actually roll correctly. So there with my centroid cylinder selected, I picked that. I can have it adjust the shape both ways, just as a contour flange would. I can have it roll both ways as well, or one way or the other. Create this kind of rolled shape here. I'm going to go about 270 on this, and I'll have it go this way. So you can see my unfold rule there, my bend radius is selectable. I'm going to say OK to that. This particular type of contour rule here, this particular type of feature, is a little bit unique because the way that it calculates it is different than how Inventor calculates other things. So for instance, Inventor normally does not do deformation or complete full stretch and sag of material. So you can see here that this almost looks like it's been drawn a little bit. It has a lot of forming done to it, and typically Inventor doesn't like this. But when I do create the flat pattern here, it will flatten it. Now, if I were to try to flatten a louver or some other type of press that doesn't actually go through the metal, it just kind of deforms the metal, it actually would not show up in the flat pattern. So the contour roll is a little bit more unique in that sense, where I do get a nice flattened state for what the metal will be for the extents. So this has been a look at the contour roll for the sheet metal environment.